Today we have this 1928 Underwood number no. five antique desktop typewriter. The ultimate classic desktop typewriter, my favorite model. And it's my most popular model. I usually don't keep these in stock for too long. I'm gonna show you how to use all the functions and make sure they all work. Your margins are up front here. You wanna set them after and before this, these paper holders. So um, we have it right after that one. And as you can see, you can move it like that and that's where you set your margin. And we're gonna set it right there. And on the side, same concept. If you don't set it before that, it'll type over it. So you just don't wanna type over those. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin with this line space, gets you back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip that switch forward. It'll skip two, three, works good. We're gonna keep it on single and keep and finish typing. As you can see, all the keys type nice, none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. absolutely love this model it's so fun to type on you could type as fast as you want on this it's top of the line engineering for back in that time when it was made and it still works perfectly almost a hundred years later to pull the paper out easy you just flip this switch forward and it unlocks the rollers underneath the plat and allowing you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock Make sure you flip that back up when you're done or else the next page won't load properly. Got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the right side. To clear it, you hit the other shift button and it'll clear. Backspace, top left. It's got a tab function. You set the tabs. Back here, you just pull them down and move them and it fits right into the teeth there. And you got one, two, three, four of them. And I'll show you how to how it works. If you hit the tab button, it'll stop at each one of those like that. Works great. I'll show you from the front. Works good. This is your color selector switch. Right now, uh, we have a solid black ribbon installed, but if you, uh, if you have a black and red ribbon, you would just flip that to the red side and it'll hit the bottom portion of the ribbon. We're going to keep that on that side for now. Ribbon direction control, if you push that in, it'll start pulling to that side. But we have all the brand new ribbon is loaded on that side, so we want it to pull to this side. So we pull this out and you can wind it. If you're loading a new ribbon, that's how you do that. And we have this function that gets overlooked a lot is if you push that up, it'll disable the spacing clicks. You push it down, you hear the clicks. Each one of those clicks is one space. And that's about